You got him? Yeah. If you fall, just don't grab a cactus again. I didn't grab it, I landed in it. Oh, that's right. Jason is the one that grabbed the grabbed the cactus on me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not the hardest spot we'll go. Come back down, same spot as it was last time, try to catch a sturgeon. We're gonna give it a good fair shake today, see if we can't get one. I brought Tom with me and his brother Sam down here with us. Try to catch a sturgeon, and we'll see what happens. That's something you don't see every day. This jet boat's pulling some logs down the river. Yeah. That's something you see every day there, boys. We must be building something or calling firewood down below. That looks like red for a camera up too. It does. That's pretty good. The old mighty fish. Yeah, it was. It's recording. Right. Me and two of the boys come down to go do some bait fishing today. We didn't catch much last weekend. I'm going to attach part of that video. There really isn't much into it. But me and a buddy went down surgeon fishing. And we didn't get anything. But it made me want to come go get some bait. Because I could not seem to find bait or anything. For some re weird reason. But whatever. So a couple of... Couple well, my boys and I come down, we're gonna do some bait fishing. Get some bait in the freezer for the year before really start getting after fishing. So, I uh, will we'll do that today. But stuff. Point your pole up a little bit. There you go. Ah, look at that. Do you know what that is? Uh, nope, that is a squaw fish or pike minnow. That's bait. Well, he is going to become bait too. Okay. Well, that's all they're going to be for this video. Not many fish. Ended up with two, catching two chisel mouths and then using that squaw fish. And that's the only fish I got on video. But that's fishing. I want to head home and I'm actually going to take these and put them in some pickle juice and brine them a little bit so I can show you what I'm going to do there and see if it works for bait. We'll see what happens. Here's the end result of <coughs> pickling that fish. I saved you the gruesome parts. I didn't figure you'd really care about cutting it up, but got it in some pickle juice. Got one with a little higher salt content. That's what the bag's in there for. That way I can keep them together just storage purposes I didn't feel like leaving a bag of fish in the fridge that nobody knew what it was so threw it in a pickle jar but we're gonna see if it works never know but so next sturgeon trip or catfishing trip I'll take I'm gonna give it a whirl so we'll see you then <laughs>